So I recently saw this map depicting the top Google autocomplete results for each country in Europe with the results for each of them. And seeing as how I already answered them for a similar map of the US a few years ago, I thought to myself, hey, why not do this again? Why does Iceland have so many volcanoes? Iceland is a volcanic island on the converging plate between the Eurasian and North American plates, so it's kind of similar to Hawaii in a way. Why does Britain want to leave the EU? Well, first off, not all Britons want to leave the EU, most notably Scots and Londoners. But the reason for all the Brexit talks largely came down to the issues of immigration, the economy, and national identity. Britain has always strongly identified with its position as not being quite attached to the rest of Europe, so the UK has always had quite a bit of an arm's length relation with the other EU countries. There are hundreds of points and topics to bring about this topic though, so next country. Why does Ireland have no snakes? Because snakes don't live on this left side driving island with a funny accent, they live on this left side driving island with a funny accent. No, actually, snakes never lived in Ireland, and the whole tale of how St. Patrick drove out all the snakes from Ireland likely refers to metaphorical snakes, i.e. snakes was most likely being used in a derogatory fashion for, like, people. Why does the Netherlands have so many tulips? Tulip mania was an interesting thing. You see, tulips are not native to the Netherlands. So when they were brought back, the Dutch thought they were pretty nice, and so having tulip bulbs on display became a sign of wealth, and then became a sign of broken economies, and now are a sign of the Netherlands. Why does Belgium exist? I've been there twice and I still can't tell you. Why does Norway have a low crime rate? That's actually a really interesting thing to look into, as Norway has a low recidivism rate, but famously has prisons based on rehabilitation rather than punishment. It's not something that comes easily to someone not from there, which makes it really interesting to learn more about. Why does Sweden hate Norway? Because they have a lower crime rate? I don't know, culture I guess, I mean, Oregon and Washington can't stand each other as is. Why does Finland have the best schools in the world? Well, it's not that Finnish schools give too little, it's that American schools give too much. I actually talked about this in a past video. Why does Russia support Assad? Yeah, okay, let's answer a less controversial question. Why does Russia have Kaliningrad? Before and during World War II, the area of Poland east of Gdansk was also part of Germany, just separate from their old monster claw. But then Germany lost World War II and ceded most of the land to the newly created Poland, as part of the Potsdam Conference, but the Soviet Union sliced up that area and gave the northern half to itself, renaming it from Königsberg to Kaliningrad. Why does Estonia want to be Nordic? Estonia is culturally and linguistically much closer to Finland than their Baltic neighbors to the south, and Finland is already a Nordic country. Why does Latvia have fast internet? Latvia, Lithuania, and even Moldova have some of the fastest internet speeds in the world, vastly surpassing the US. One easy factor for this is how much bigger than those countries the US is, but that's also the only piece of information I found telling me why this is the case. Why does Lithuania have the highest death rate? Well, that certainly took a turn. Unfortunately, the three Baltic countries, CS including you, Estonia, all have a pretty high death rate, especially in suicide. One of the biggest causes in Lithuania are likely due to social and economic factors but Vilnius is making this a big priority. Why does Belarus exist? As in, why is it separate from Russia? Well, Belarus hasn't always aligned itself with Russia, as it has largely been under control and influence of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth back in the day. And today their language is mostly similar to Russian, but with some non-Russian undertones. Why does Ukraine want Crimea? Okay, this is not going to be an easy video. Basically, in 2014, Russia illegally annexed the Crimean Peninsula from Ukraine, and in those scenarios, people aren't exactly willing to share. Why does Poland own Prussia? Because Germany was bad in the first part of the 20th century, and being addicted to Poland apparently has its consequences now. Why does Denmark have high taxes? The Nordic countries are famous for providing many social services to their citizens in exchange for a high tax rate. However, looking into Denmark's tax policies, they actually aren't insanely high, but in some cases they can get somewhat high. Why does Germany have so many names? Come on, you remember history Germany, right? Why does Luxembourg exist? A powerful houses, Holy Roman Empire, disunited Central Europe, and I mean, come on, someone needed to settle Indiana. Why does Switzerland speak French? Switzerland has four official languages, with the largest minority being the German speakers, but also with significant portions who speak French, Italian, and Romanche. Switzerland is an interesting country since it was basically formed as a protective confederation between local kingdoms in the 13th century, and linguistic minorities are most strongly present nearer to the borders of France and Italy. Why does France speak French? Really? Why does Andorra exist? Basically, Andorra was a feudal state under joint control of the leader of France and the Bishop of Roger, and it kind of just stuck around until today, long after the feudal system was abolished in 1993. Why does Spain have a lisp? 
There was a claim that it's because there was a king who spoke with a lisp, but that's not actually true. There was a king who, quote, lisped a little in the 14th century, but the lisp only started to propagate 200 years later. Another claim is that it's more convenient, separating words like casa from casa, or ciento from ciento. Why does Portugal exist? The Iberian Peninsula is not one cohesive group of people, but a messy patchwork of different groups, not just Spaniards and Portuguese. There are also Catalonians, Andalusians, Galicians, Basques, and Castilians, which is also why Spain has a hard time keeping itself together sometimes. Why does Italy wear blue? Italian football teams generally wear blue shirts, as a tribute to the royal house of Savoy, who used to rule over Italy, its neighboring regions, its colonies, and for some reason Armenia. Oh yeah, and their favorite color was blue. Why does Austria have a navy? Well, I mean, it's an Iowa nation, and a rather large one at that, so it needs to protect itself from- Okay, okay, you couldn't have just let me have the joke? In all seriousness, just because a country is landlocked doesn't mean it doesn't need a navy, however odd this may sound. And Austria also sits on the Danube River, which gives him access to the North and Black Seas, as the river is considered an international waterway. Why does Slovenia wear green? The idea of Slovenian green is a tribute to Slovenia's mountains and forests, and natural beauty, even though the green isn't on their flag. But I mean, seriously, how wealthy is Slovenia? How populous is Slovenia? How large is Slovenia's economy? The one thing people never seem to bother to really ask is, how is Slovenia? Why does Croatia have all the coastline? Bosnia and Herzegovina has a, only a tiny coastline around the city of Neom, giving it the second shortest coastline in the world behind that of Monaco. A lot of this had to do with the Ottomans and the Habsburgs, and basically Bosnia and Herzegovina crystallized as an Ottoman province, and looking at this map you can probably see what happened. Why does Bosnia and Herzegovina have three presidents? Bosnia and Herzegovina is basically a mishmash of three small republics, including the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Republic of Srpska, and the Birchko district. Also, it's largely split into three main ethnic groups, the Serbs, Croats, and Bosnians, who don't always get along historically. Why does Serbia hate Croatia? It's complicated. Seriously, it's the Balkans. This cannot be covered in a couple seconds. Why does Montenegro have a Spanish name? That's actually a pretty good question, since there's a town in Costa Rica called Montenegro. The country's name, though they speak the Slavic Montenegrin language, actually comes from a Romance language, just not Spanish. It actually comes from the Venetian term for Black Mountain. Why does Kosovo want independence? Balkan politics are never easy. Basically, Kosovo, and their largely Albanian population, has not been treated very nicely under Yugoslavia and later Serbia. Why does Macedonia want to be called Macedonia? Macedonia is a region in northern Greece, and just north of Greece is the country of Macedonia, which sometimes goes under the name the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, or Phyron, as I like to call it. Basically, there's a strong connection to Alexander the Great here because he was cool and all that. Why does Albania want to join the European Union? Unfortunately for them, Albania is a bit of a ways off from actually joining the EU as of yet, but it has been a candidate country since 2000. But yeah, it's mostly economic and political factors, like with most EU applicants. Why does Greece have a bad economy? Basically, tax evasion, lying about trade deficits, and investors demanding impossibly high interest rates are not a good combination for economic success. Why does Malta drive on the left? Because they were a British colony. Why does Cyprus have so many cats? Basically, the cat population has gotten way out of whack, especially with stray and feral cats. Why does Turkey make you sleepy? Okay, let's search up a real question. Why does Turkey hate Kurds? Oh god, okay. Yeah, uh... Why does Bulgaria not use the Euro? Bulgaria, though a fully-fledged EU member, is not a member of Schengen or the Eurozone, and instead uses their own currency, the Bulgarian Lev, meaning Lion, much like Romania's Leo. Basically, the main point for these questions is that joining the Eurozone is a difficult process that not all EU countries can actually do. Greece tried it without meeting all the proper criteria first, and that didn't do them much good. Why does Romania have fast internet? If any American knew, America would have fast internet, and I'm an American, so I don't know. I also kind of already answered this question. Why does Moldova exist? From 1918 to 1940, they were part of Romania, but they didn't like it, so they decided to not be part of Romania. Why does Hungary not use the euro? Hungary uses their own currency, the forint, but it is likely that the Hungarian government will replace the currency with the euro sometime in the 2020s. Again, certain financial goals are in order. Why does Slovakia not recognize Kosovo? That's a pretty random pair of countries to pick there. Slovakia has given a few hints that it might change its stance on the issue in a few years, but right now it remains one of the few EU and NATO members not to recognize Kosovo as a country. Finally, why does Czechia not use the euro? 
Czechia will eventually adopt the euro as its currency, as soon as they again meet all the requirements to join the eurozone. For now though, they use Czech Koruna as their currency, so be aware of that if you're planning a trip to Prague anytime soon. So there you have it, 43 countries and why they do certain things, and why they are certain ways. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to learn something new every Sunday. Also, if there are any countries I missed or if I get any of the facts wrong, please do let me know. That's something I like to know about.